On today's episode of Watch Jay Argo, my mom's hybrid Camry pees cooling out the front. <laughs> you weren't exaggerating. No, it was literally spraying out the front. That's hilarious. Well, what is going on guys? I'm Watch Jay Argo, and today we have my mom's hybrid Camry here. I don't even know what year it is. Uh, but it's broken, and I'll show you the codes on the dash right now. All right, we've got a couple lights here. Check hybrid system and maintenance required. Of course, we have the check engine light over there. It's all just one code, which is like a uh, hybrid cooling system. This car has 168,588 miles on it, and according to my mom, it's never been in for service. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure it hasn't. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna do the first service ever other than oil changes. That's pretty funny. There's literally coolant spraying out of the front of this. Oh man. Oh, I thought it was damaging the plastic, but maybe it's not. Uh, let me put it in drive and see if it'll uh, start spraying. What was that sound? Oh, that's the noise maker so you don't run over people. So we're gonna get under the hood figure out what's going on. Actually, I have a pretty good idea. You can kind of see where this is spraying from and there's a secondary radiator right in here for the hybrid cooling system and the coolant is spraying out of that radiator. There's like a rock hole in it. So, uh, I mean, honestly, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna get in here, get that uh, secondary radiator out that cools the battery and everything like that and uh, swap it out for a brand new one that's here from Rock Auto. This is a 2013 Camry. You guys have all seen the mileage on it. It's got a little bit. And uh, it looks like my dad hopped in here and pulled this off, which is awesome. Saved us time with all these fasteners. The only problem is, where are they? And this radiator looks relatively easy to get to, too. Zach's doing the magic here. Let's see, I already got this one out. I don't know if those lower ones actually have to come out, but. Yeah, they're part of the grill. That's gone forever. Fastener, 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 and these are after you pull off this uh, front cover. And there's one in there, one down low, and one over there. Let's get this clamp off here. You don't have the right pliers. You're right. I sure don't. Let's get this box open and see what we're dealing with so we know what we need to install. It's a box within a box. What? You've tricked me. This is a Denso 221-9296. That is your hybrid coolant radiator. And uh, man, it looks like this has been sitting on a shelf for a long time, covered in dirt. It does look like that's what we're working with here. Kick another box out of the way, and then we can cut the uh, nylon straps and kick another box out of the way. Go, there we go. This is a uh, one very small heat exchanger slash radiator, and it looks like it might be really easy to install as well. Okay, so we got the grill loose, and now we're gonna pull this upper support to make our lives easy. I think we can get to everything once this supports off. So this will take a second. Get through all these bolts. Uh, what? We're gonna pull this whole support from the inverter. Easy one here. Get the bottom of the support. Man, these have never been loose. That is for sure. I guess the filter is actually in here and this is all just like sound dampening nonsense. So, that was nice and easy. Toyota, don't blow my mind with how easy it is to work on your cars today. Don't, don't jinx that's, us. That's not what I came here. Okay, fine. Don't jinx us. I won't. Okay, that horn is off. The latch too. Yep, yep. Let's get this one off. Use some plugging in there. Yes. Just wiggling the connector out. All right. And then we gotta pull this support right there. Okay, so I think we've got everything now. Well, what else is holding you off? The cable runs all the way through it though. There's no way that cable was holding that down. There's something else holding it down. Oh, this, this bolt is why it didn't disconnect. 
So we got the 10 out of this support right here and there's one more kind of in front of the hood latch right there. And at this point, I think <laughs> we have to remove the hood latch. I'd rather do this than remove the bumper. True. Removing the bumper to do this simple job would actually be terrible. That's way more fasteners and then you have to fight getting it fit back in. At least this is all pressed sheet metal and should drop right back together. All uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts are out and the horns are unhooked. Hey. So there's the center support, which means we can now see the hybrid Synergy Drive radiator. It sounds way cooler if you say it like that. So now we have to pull a 10 down there, a 10 right here, a 10 right there, and then this hose and this hose, and I think we're done. I think that's, uh, I mean, obviously we have to swap it out, but that is all it takes to get it out. So I'm going to start removing those fasteners and working those hoses off, and we'll get right back to it. For some reason it didn't come right off. Oh, it has like little standoffs here. That one came right off. Come on. Oh, there's one more. There's something holding it on down there. So the last bolt is actually on the end and buried on the hybrid radiator. So you're gonna have to have a 10 mil ratchet wrench or do it by hand, but you're gonna have to get way down in there and you only have about a half inch gap maybe to work with to get that bolt out. So there's actually four bolts holding this in. They're all tins, but that one is annoying. But uh, we got it done after like 15 minutes. Uh, here is the part that matters. And let's drain it down. Not too much cooling in here, I would assume. Pink cooling. Man, there's a lot of bugs in there. I can't even see where the hole is, but I think it's right there. Pretty sure that's the one that got damaged and caused the entire issue. Holy smokes, look at all the bugs behind it. Yeah, and look at the radiator. We're gonna have to vacuum the radiator out. <laughs> so we're gonna go get the shop back and clean all this junk out to uh, return the old Camry to optimal cooling. Here is our radiator. I'd like to turn down the water pressure a little bit. Okay. Oh, you want to do it like that? Yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Yep. There it is. You can see the water fogging oh. out. Okay, take it off. Why? Take it off. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just ate all their... That cooler was not good. Oh, shit, take it off. I was having fun. I... <laughs> Ah Thanks, bro. Did it get on you? It's all over me, the it's camera. All in my eyes. Sorry, guys. It was worth it. We got our shop vac. Now we're gonna try to suck all this junk out of here. Oh, man, oh dude, it's caked in here. So, this radiator is vacuumed out as good as we could with that vacuum. It was pretty weak. But we worked hard to kind of agitate the uh, dirt and then suck it out of there with the vacuum. High pressure air might help, but then again, you just don't want to damage the fins. So I was trying to be careful with that. This one is nice and pretty. It looks like we're ready to install. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this guy down in there. Uh, I guess this end, it has to go under my uh, hood latch cable here first. Carefully slide it past that center support and down into its home. The bottom of that has to go under the AC condenser. Uh, now we just have to do the really hard bolt and we can go ahead and reconnect the hoses now. There's the first one, so we're not leaking there. We're gonna go ahead and start putting the bolts back in. It's gonna take a little bit of time, so uh, we're not gonna show you that. Uh, basically, it's a four 10 millimeters hold this in and expect uh, to spend a while on it. We've got the uh, impossible bottom two bolts in. It didn't take us uh, nearly as long to get it back on as it did for us to take them off originally. So there's our upper 10. These ones are super easy and there's alignment dowels too. Couple cranks, it's plastic. Don't, uh, don't beat it to death, obviously, because uh, it'll break. And the last thing you need to break is this radiator. Grab these needle nose to put our uh, hose clamps back where they belong. I mean, we're gonna line the uh, factory markings back up here, if I can. So this is your inverter coolant. This is the uh, coolant for the hybrid system. We're gonna pop that off of there. 
and uh, hopefully we can just turn this thing on and get the electric pump that runs all this to suck coolant through that radiator. So I'm gonna go ahead and refill it. I'm gonna fill it all the way to max. I'm gonna fill it to the top because it needs to replace quite a bit of coolant. So I've got the inverter coolant reservoir at max over there. And of course this new uh, inverter coolant radiator is completely empty. So we're gonna try to turn the car on and we're gonna put it in drive and hopefully it sucks all the coolant out of that reservoir into the radiator. Hey, what was that noise? Yeah. Is it doing it? Sucked it. Sucked something. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Woo! That's a noise. All right, let's put some more coolant in. Oh yeah, it's gonna have a lot of air in it. You can see the air coming through, yeah. We'll just. Oh, that thing's running hardcore. Awesome. I think we might have it knocked out. First replacement of the inverter coolant should be at 150,000 miles. And this car just hit 150,000 miles. I mean, well, 168, not too bad. So this thing is really pumping the coolant through here. You can actually feel it kind of coursing through your hands. It's this electric pump down here. That's the inverter coolant. I think we probably got all the air out of it by now. You can yeah, you can see right anymore. through here. Yeah. yeah, and if there's no bubbles, then we're good to go. All right, let's seal this up and uh, take it for a test drive. You know, I've never driven this car. It's time to stick this center support back on here and it holds everything. It holds the radiator, it holds the hood latch and the horns. So give it a little wiggle here. That's in, okay. And now the big thing here is the cable for the hood latch has a little fastener on it that uh, keeps everything nice and clean. And I think that snaps in right there. I have to get it back up underneath and clipped in. And we got it, cool. All right, now we can put everything back together. So I took the spring off the hood latch to get access to this guy. And now I have to get it hooked back on. So it goes right around there and then <laughs> right around there, a little hole. All right, cool, we got it. All the bolts are back in, last trim piece is on. I don't know where these fasteners are at, I guess they're laying around somewhere else, but uh, we'll get those on later. For now, let's go drive this bad boy. This is my first time driving a hybrid Camry, and it's kind of weird. After we changed the radiator and refilled the coolant, uh, it did clear the light. There's no check engine light, and there's no service hybrid synergy drive light or whatever that said, hybrid system. So we're gonna take it for a quick drive. There's like green lights and as you get on the gas, they all disappear. This is actually kind of cool. Anyway, uh, let's make a poll. Let's see. We should have brought the draggy and tested out the hybrid system. No. All right, we're, we're doing a 40 roll right now. Okay. It took like three seconds for the engine to respond and now we're only doing the speed limit. The regen's cool. This gauge with the uh, power and eco and the regen is kind of cool. It's a old school like BMW style mechanical gauge. And there's a second one for miles per gallon. It's getting 40 miles per gallon. Well, this hybrid Camry is ready to return to service. My mom can go back to driving it. It's been fun, quick little job uh, to just run through at night. And Zach and I are done for the day. Thanks for your help, Zach. And uh, that is it for today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. And I will talk to you next time. What do you think about the hybrid Camry action? Uh, it probably gets much better gas mileage than my car. <laughs> it probably gets excellent gas mileage. Yeah. It says we're only getting like 40 right now, though. Yeah. Psh, that's not great. I, I want to see. Yeah. I expect like if a Geo Storm can get 50, then I expect like a hybrid Camry should get like 100. It's it's 20 yeah. years newer. But nobody's know? really been able to beat it's Geo. True. Well, nobody's ever been able to beat the no safety regulation ultra light cars with three cylinders. Yes. That was, those were, uh, it was a brilliant era. Yeah. And I love those old cars, but. Uh, I still want one. Full power. What do you think? 40, 50. Look at it climb. 60. It's something. Not slow. Something, something. Mexico. Mexico. Check out the new shop edition. A uh, big donkey fan. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go over here to the switches. We gotta hit some switches. Here we go, here we go. 
It's right there. Woohoo! On. Let's see. Four. Oh, why do they have it turned all the way up? Who, who on a, what? Who turns these all the way up? Everyone else runs them on like 10%. And for some reason the fan's set to nine. That thing turned on like it was a jet engine. Did you see how fast it was going? Yeah, so it even has a note from the old company that says do not set higher than seven. All right, that's pretty cool though. I, I think the, the blades are 15, so maybe it's a 30. I think uh, Tyler Hoover has a small one of these, doesn't he? Yeah, just a little guy. It's a, yeah, like a 10 footer. It's like a Hampton Bay status. I wish we had like a flag so you could see how much air it's moving it's right a now. Lot of air being 